Hey, this is Dan Nickerson with Acme Traffic, and I'm pleased to announce our latest plugin, the Selected RSS plugin. What this plugin does is it allows you to create custom RSS feeds using WordPress posts, pages, categories, and tags. Now, the normal WordPress RSS feed uh, generates the latest posts for your for your feed, so people only see the latest posts. But what happens if you have an older blog? Maybe you haven't started promoting RSS yet. Maybe you have some great old content on your site that you would like to get uh, submitted to RSS directories. Well, using the selected RSS plugin, you can create as many custom feeds as you want and submit those to different RSS directories. So it helps get your old content re-indexed and gets, gets it pinged, and so it's generating backlinks on other sites, which generates you more traffic. This also gives you more options for um, managing your feeds based on categories and tags. So I'm going to show you how easy this plug is, plugin is to install. Just like with other plugins, it comes in a zip file. So you get a zip file. And I'm going to go to one of my example websites. This is bestkeywordtools.net. I'm going to go to Plugins, Add New. And I'm going to click on Upload. And I'm going to locate the plugin that's on my uh, desktop here. I actually have a folder, Selected RSS. And then this is my zip file right here. And I'm going to click on Install. And I'm installing the plugin. Double click it again. Okay, now I activate the plugin. And the plugin is activated. Then I would go to the settings page. Okay, so this is the selected RSS settings panel. You want to read through these different paragraphs to explain more about uh, selected RSS and how to use it. But I'm just going to give you a brief little overview here. There, there are four tabs. The home, pat, home tab, of course, that gives you information. And if you need some more support, there's actually some links down here that'll help you uh, as well with support. And then we have the posts here. And you can see the posts are set up. They have the listing of all the posts, the creation date, categories, the tags for those posts. And then here you can see category feed and tag feed. Because Selected RSS and WordPress create both a category and tag feed for all your sites, what we do is we better we better organize it. So let's just say, for example, that I don't want to include this post in my tag feed. I can uncheck this and save it, and then this post will never be included in my RSS feed. If I don't want to have it in the category feed, I can do the same thing, just uncheck it and save it. By default, everything is set to be included in your category and tag feeds. Now you're going to see the custom feed menu is blank here. So that means I need to set up my custom feeds. So to do that, I can scroll down here to SRS custom feeds. Now one of the cool things about a custom feed is let's just say for example you've had your blog for a few years and you maybe have you maybe have hundreds of quality posts. Well only the last you know say 10 posts are going to show up in any RSS feed. So maybe you want to get resubmit some of those old content that you were so proud of. So you could actually create like a, a feed called top 10. So I'm going to name this a top 10 custom feed and there it is called top 10. And I go back here to my selected RSS settings and my posts. And I can then pick and say, OK, well, I want this post to be in my top 10 list. And so I click on Save. And maybe I choose you know, this one here. OK, I want that one as well. And so that's now saved in my top 10 list. Now let's go to Pages. Now pages don't have categories and tags. However, you can add them to a custom feed. So you can go in here and just say, okay, well, I really want uh, to this to be added to my top 10 uh, feed. And it's done. It's saved. Now, once again, um, a lot of people now are creating quick affiliate blogs may only have five or 10 posts. So because, they, because of that, they use pages instead of posts, but pages aren't included in an RSS feed. So what you can do with selected RSS is you can just create a custom feed and add all your pages to that custom feed and then you have a um, WordPress page RSS feed that you can submit to different RSS directories and you can also add new pages to your custom feed anytime you anytime you publish them okay so the next tab on here is called submit your feeds and what we've done here is we've listed about 20 different RSS submission directories where you can add your feed okay so I'm going to show you more on that in a moment now let's go to um, a page I created and I used a short code. So let me go back to home. And to do that, I grab the short code SRSS feed list. Okay, I copy that. And then I created a new page called feeds. So let me go to pages. And this is my feeds page. 
and all I did was add SRSS feed list to it and I clicked on uh, update and publish and then let me go to that page and this is going to show me all the feeds that my my visitors could subscribe to okay what it does is it grabs both the tag and it grabs the uh, uh, directory name so this is I'm sorry the category name so keyword research is both a category and a tag and so it just combines them into one and then this is my custom uh, feed that I created called top 10 now if I want to promote that feed I can right click on it copy link location and I can go back to my settings page for example and oh, wrong settings page I can go back to this settings page click on submit your feeds and I can just pick any one of these feed sites and I can open that up and if I wanted to submit it to this feed site by the way look at the page rank of 5 on this and it's got an Alexa rank of 23,000 so this site gets a lot of traffic I can actually just paste this link and then I can click submit and it's going to submit my feed um, to blog digger so that's how simple it is to do and, and get uh, old content sort of rejuvenated in different RSS directories which will drive backlinks and traffic and visitors to your site so that's the, the point of selected RSS you can use it to manage your feeds, create uh, uh, additional feeds, and all you do is add your feed page and promote your feed page, and then your visitors can subscribe to any kind of feed that they want on your site. Uh, but the big thing you can do about it right now is to really rejuvenate old content, and that's what we're all about is getting, you get those deep internal links by creating feed content of your older content or maybe your popular content or certain specific tag content and then go publish that to RSS directories. And instead of generating links right back to your homepage in most recent posts, you're generating traffic to the interior of your site, which of course is great for SEO and great for traffic. So that's the benefit of the selected RSS plugin, and it's now available inside the Acme Traffic Members area.